All the surgeons and I were grinning ear to ear when we told our patient that in order to perform a successful operation, we would need to use one of their nostrils to gain access to their brain. The day before, a madcap cow ran a 400-meter hurdle race, I was arrested because I don't create works of art in order to make bundles of cash. When the authorities came knocking on my door, I swung it open, wearing worn-out army fatigues that were manufactured before the middle of the 20th century. These threadbare clothes were the crowning blow because they are stained with the blood of the Nazis I've killed while toiling through spells of insomnia. During my incarceration, I wrote my magnum opus onto cheap bath tissue using a lip pencil. A sympathetic guard I befriended stole this writing tool from a transgender female he was planning to marry. He knew she wouldn't miss it because she is very beautiful and doesn't really need it. The day after I was released from prison, I was shot 17 times by a one-eyed jackrabbit because he mistook my lip pencil for a knife. Fortunately for me, none of the wounds struck my heart. As I lay in a heap, I could hear that my enemy was approaching. When he drew close enough for me to feel his breath, I drew an X on his forehead with my lip pencil. He got so startled that he fell backwards. Although a bale of hay protected the back of his cranium from a tragic injury, the X on his temple did him in because it marked the target for a guided missile. Just before the missile hit, a gust of wind shaped like a hand gently rolled me to safety. All I could think is what would have happened to me if I had sold out.